G'day, you rotten lot. Thank you for tuning in again today. We have the uh, last of the Flamer, um, Flamer FX20 effects to go through. We're going through all the modulations. Today, I've got the app up. It's a beautiful looking app, as you can see. I've got a Fender Twin right there, and I've got some reverb there. At the moment, you can see that the mod block is uh, grayed out. I'm going to touch it. Boop. Now it's on, it's yellow. And then the little spanner there beside it lets you adjust everything. So the first one is. The phaser. Nice little phaser. Step phaser next. I love the step phaser in my Boss PH3, so this is pretty awesome. It's really handy if you can uh, time sync that up with something, that'd be awesome. Flanger, number three. Oh, feedback and mix controls for this one. So the feedback is what gives you your extra swooshiness. I'm going in full stereo via the USB-C cable today, straight into the door. So everything you're hearing is unprocessed and uh, coming out of the FX20. A few of these modulation effects are in stereo. I don't think this one is. Jet flanger. Nice. Whoop, whoop. Tremolo. You can make it really choppy. It's a bit of an uh, interesting choice to have a tone knob on the tremolo. But I like it. You're always better off having too many controls rather than not enough. Stutter, of course, is like a really sharp tremolo. Push it up to the extreme. Beautiful stutter. All right, vibrato. Now, from memory, this one was excellent, and I really enjoyed playing with it. That's lovely, just the way it is. But anyway, I'll turn the mix up and the rate up. Mix is actually the depth, I think.
Yeah, the mix is actually the depth, not the mix. Because if you mix the vibrato back in with a dry signal, then it's just a chorus, isn't it? Really lovely vibrato sound. Rotary. Again, with the tone knob, so you can, um, you know, take some of the really sharp highs out of it. Very nice. We're almost there. The Anna Chorus. Four controls for this one, rate, mix, tone, and depth. The tri course. Try chorus has the same uh, controls, right? Mix, tone, and depth. Ah, it's really syrupy and delicious, isn't it? Modulation. Feel like uh, Tom Morello. Although if I was Tom Morello, you can't really play chords with the ring modulation on it, sort of a one note at a time effect. If I was Tom Morello, I'd be playing a chord, holding it, and then adjusting the rate to get that robot sound. <laughs> That's how I'd be using it. Oh, the Q filter. It's like an auto wah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Auto wah. Uh, last, second last one is lo-fi. So it's making a copy of my signal there and uh, degrading it for me. Again, it would be more for a sort of like a single note, special effect sort of riffing thing. Something like that. Pretty cool. Last one, of course, slow gear. I 
Couldn't get this one to work last time either. It's supposed to uh, make your guitar sound a little bit like a violin with by chopping off the front of the attack and making it slowly sort of come in. Yeah, it's doing it now. That's pretty cool. Anyway, there you go. If you've got any questions about this uh, Flamer FX20 headphone amp slash guitar effects multi-effect unit, go back and watch all the other videos on the channel. This was just to go through the uh, modulation window and show you everything. The modulation block and show you all the different modulation effects that are in there. So what you do is you go through, you sort of select your what effects you want from the amp there. You can see the mod there, the delays there, and the reverb, and then you save it into one of the spots and then with the buttons on the side when you're just playing with it plugged into your guitar with your headphones on you can just flip between your presets that you've already created and saved it does come with presets already in it and there was heaps of really good ones in there there's over 50 amps in this thing to choose from so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this series on this i'd like to thank flamer very very much for sending this to us we appreciate you supporting the channel um and thank you for tuning in thumbs up like subscribe all that good stuff really helps out the channel a lot so we'll see you in the next video bye